What's going on, y'all, man? It's official Dre live, bro. And y'all see, you know, we back out here with another reaction video, bro, from the man himself, Jimmy High Roller, bro. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on notifications. Also, comment down below a way I can improve on my channel. Links to my second channel, my poetry channel, and my Twitch are in the description if you are interested. You feel me? This is LeVar Ball just pulled off a miracle right in front of our eyes. Reaction. Let's get right into it, bro. What if I told you there was a man so genius, so revolutionary, that he saw the future before it even happened? That through sheer willpower and confidence in his process, he turned his goals into a reality. What if I told you that LeVar Ball is far more than the obnoxious NBA dad that we can't seem to get rid of? What if I told you that LeVar Ball was actually the puppet master of the entire NBA, calling all of the shots to his favor? Well, maybe I made that last one up. But the fact remains, what LeVar has conjured up out of thin air all three of his children playing professional basketball, a massively profitable business, and now going on five years of fame, or rather infamy, you have to admit, this man seems to be playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. Every phase of this family's story appears to be the final chapter. And then you wake up the next morning to find out that the Ball family is in the news again, still surpassing expectations, and the craziest part about all of this is that LeVar called it. I mean, it's borderline prophetic the way the man seemed to predict and manifest every ounce of potential he laid out years ago for himself and his family. He said Lonzo would be drafted by the Lakers. Check. He said that LaMelo playing overseas as opposed to college ball would actually help his draft stock. And he was right. He predicted that LeBron James would come to the Lakers on national television. And that's exactly what happened just a couple weeks later. In fact, if you ask LeVar, I'm sure you'd say his presence and wise words are what brought LeBron to LA in the first place. And LeVar's most impressive prediction just became a reality when LaMelo was drafted to the Charlotte Hornets. Because as far back as he can recall, LeVar Ball has been adamant about all three of his sons playing in the NBA. Lonzo with the Pelicans, LaMelo with the Hornets, and Leangelo with the Oklahoma City Blue. Well, whatever. Close enough. I'm trying to make a point here. But, rewind the tapes all the way back to draft night 2017. Keep going, keep going, right there. Now listen closely. Yeah, LeVar here, and LeVar, you, you already got the Lakers hat. I'm trying to tell you, I knew this was happening before it was happening. When did you get this hat made? Uh, when he was a baby, but I already knew what was coming to him. I got two more boys, I gotta come do the same thing two more years. Come see me when he does. I have another hat on to say I told you so. Thanks a lot, LeVar. Congrats. Thank you. Okay, so LeVar Ball made another outlandish claim. Nothing new here. Let's all just move on. You do look a little scary in that, Jam. I have another hat on to say I told you so. I'm sick. He did it. The man actually did it. A subtle but impeccable flex of epic proportions. Who in the world would follow through to this extent with a random statement he made three years ago? LeVar Ball. That's who. The chances of LeVar continually calling his shot is terribly unlikely. In fact, it's unbelievable. Can he see the future? Is he behind the curtains pulling the strings of this intricate web of basketball headlines? Bro. This is insane, man. When you really think about basketball and what you think, bruh, no matter what anybody says about LeVar Ball, you can't deny this. You can't deny the fact, bruh, he got his kids to where he said he would get his kids. Now, despite all the routes that they took, they still in the same goal right now, bruh. Let's see what else happens, man. Here's the thing, if you make enough predictions about the future, eventually, some of them are going to come true. How does that old saying go, even a broken clock is right twice a day? Well, LeVar's clock is just a tad off, and there's quite a bit of mad to this mad genius. He's made far more incorrect predictions than he has correct ones, like when he predicted that the 2018-2019 Lakers would make the playoffs, or when he said that all of his sons would be playing for the Lakers by 2020. 
Then there's the time when LeVar said the Lakers wouldn't win a title if they traded Lonzo. And then the Lakers traded Lonzo and won a championship. Or what about when he said that he could beat Michael Jordan one-on-one? -on -one? This one hasn't happened yet, but let's all just use some common sense here. LeVar could have just dropped the whole one-on-one -on -one claim and move on. But no, the man had to go and double down on the madness and propose a formal one-on-one -on -one against MJ at the small price of, are you ready for this? $200 million. LeVar Ball, a man who has never played a second of professional basketball in his life, wants to play the greatest player ever, but only if we all pitch in and pay $200 million. This entire scheme falls under the category of insanity. But what's even more insane is the theory that some fans have created that suggests that LeVar training Melo, pushing him to become an elite basketball player, aiding him in his journey to become a lottery pick, and then strategizing to get LaMelo on the Hornets, was all a ploy for LeVar to get to Michael Jordan. The last three years all being orchestrated precisely for LeVar to get a shot to play the GOAT one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know about y'all, but I would be lying if I said I wouldn't pay good money to watch these two go at it. But once again, LeVar is navigating in treacherous territory. His large claims and even larger personality have gotten himself and his sons into some tough situations. After Lonzo Ball was traded last offseason, news began to circulate that the Lakers front office and staff could not stand LeVar. At one point in Lonzo's time with the Lakers, his father's antics got so bad that the organization began to question if having Lonzo on their team was worth the trouble LeVar was putting them through. Less than two months into Lonzo's NBA career, the Lakers even created a LeVar Ball rule in the Staples Center in an effort to stop him from creating more headlines. Things were getting ugly real fast. And now that LaMelo is with the Hornets and has Michael Jordan running the show, I can only imagine how this could turn out if LeVar continues to attempt to take the wheel. Organizations across the league communicate often, and if the Hornets take into consideration what other teams have to say about LeVar, LaMelo might be in for a wild ride. But now that we have discussed some of LeVar's shortcomings, I want to talk about the incredible job he's done with navigating his boys to the NBA. In the history of the league, there has only been 20 sets of brothers to ever get drafted as top 30 picks. Lonzo and LaMelo Ball both being drafted higher than any other player on this list. Two brothers being selected as top three picks in the NBA draft is such a rare feat that leading up to the 2020 draft, it had never happened before. The next step for both Lonzo and LaMelo is to assert themselves as elite players in the league, because being a top three pick comes with extremely high expectations. Working your way up the draft board is one thing, but mm -hmm. expectations of becoming a star player that comes with every top three pick is an entirely different milestone. And both of these brothers will have to prove their game is just as real as the hype was. And then there's Leangelo, who gets an unwarranted amount of hate thrown at him because he isn't in the NBA. Or at least not yet. Which is just ridiculous. Leangelo is a professional basketball player. He's been signed to the G League, one of the most exclusive basketball leagues in the entire world. In fact, there are about 400 players in the entire G League. Combine that with 400 NBA players, and there are only 800 players in the entire world associated with the NBA. And Jello is one of them. That's no small feat. Do you know how many up and coming players were supposed to be the next big thing? The next LeBron? The next KD? An internet sensation? How often do these stories pan out? They all get bad. Every single story gets bad. And, you know, Julian Newman never grew. That's tough, bro. His parents are both short. No disrespect to the man. He could drop me off, maybe. But that's crazy, bro. Just to, just to see the hype people put around. Just to see how, how, how it crumbles, how it falls, man. Jesus Christ, bro. Subscribe to the channel if you're still watching. I'll give you a hint. So props to LeVar and his unorthodox leadership, because as much as he stirs the pot, gets on your very last nerve, and calls out entire organizations and star players on national television with little to no warrant, the man has a lot to be proud of. And let's face it, he isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So I don't know about y'all, but I've been all in on the Ball family for years now, and I don't plan on getting off this bandwagon quite yet. Hope you all enjoyed, and as always, until next time. Man, bro, that's gonna 
Let's, let's go and do it, bro, for the reaction, man. If y'all did like the video, bro, you feel me, bro. Comment down below. Wait, I, I can improve on my channel. I can improve on my reaction and stuff like that. You feel me, man? Once again, my second channel, my poetry channel is linked in the description. Also, along with my Twitch and some more stuff, bro. Anyways, man, there's some videos on the screen, bro. Check those out, man. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time, bro. Peace.